Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. So we are jumping back into Animal Crossing New Leaf here on the Nintendo 3DS. Almost definitely have to do some time traveling. Almost definitely going to get yelled at by Rossetti. And by almost definitely, I mean I'm definitely going to get yelled at by Rossetti. It's tradition at this point. Um, <laughs> let me see. Sentinel says, uh, oh, I've been me I've always wanted to ask, what was the inspiration slash creative process uh, like for all the Beast designs? So, uh... In reference to, like, the Gamer Beasts, my, my gaming merch apparel, my gaming apparel merch, gaming, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, I know what I'm talking about, I know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, we know what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> so it started with, obviously, the Nintendo Beast was me, like, th this is my channel, this was the original thing, um, and then, uh, let me change the time quickly, let me look at what I have to get, um, and then uh, I kind of realized, like, okay, okay. So if I'm the so first, the first design was the Nintendo Beast, as you see in on my personal merch, my game, my channel merch, um, as well as on the banner on my YouTube channel. Um, that was the original design. I got a graphic designer off of Fiverr to make that for me. Uh, I was just, I basically just told him like, hey, I want some kind of monster, some kind of creature, beast, whatever. That, uh, that is made up of Nintendo accessories, game consoles, uh, you know, you draw any kind of inspiration from Nintendo as a whole, uh, build armor, build whatever, make it out of those things, and, and, and go crazy, uh, and they did an incredible job on that, um, and then once I had that, I was like, what if, what if I created it in an apparel brand, a gaming, you know, apparel brand, but wasn't just limited to Nintendo, it was like the whole console wars, right? Like, what if we what if we did the same kind of concept, but, like, made a PlayStation beast and an Xbox beast, right? Uh, and so that's what we did, and I went to the same artist on Fiverr, and I was like, I need a new, a new positioning of the Nintendo beast. So the one that you see on my personal, my channel merch, he's kind of, like, looking down, it's at a different angle. And then the ones you see on the GamerBeasts.com, uh, that one is like standing upright, so it matches the other two better. Um, so they're actually technically two different designs. They the same creature, they look pretty much the same, uh, but they're two technically different designs, different stances that the the creature, the beast is in. Um, and so yeah, so that's that was kind of the inspiration, and I think they look really really cool. I love them, um, and I have the I have the shirts, I have my own merch, I, I wear them on. Uh, on, in my videos as, as much as humanly possible. I want, I need to get more of that. I need to get, like, the hats and, like, the full, you know, thing. I have a, I don't know if you saw, but I have an unboxing video, uh, of some, of the Gamer Beasts t-shirts, the first shipment ever from the store, which is kind of cool. Um, I got to be my own, like, first customer, so to speak, which is, which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna keep it the same day, I think. Let me, uh... <laughs> Let me see here. New leaf. Still need fossils. Need the red dragonfly and the violin beetle. The char. And then late September, there are a bunch of diving things. Uh, so let's... I think this is good. As far as time goes... CSIP says, hey, does your New Leaf Online work since it's on an emulator? I think I can play online with other people using the Citra emulator, but I've never tested it. So I want to say yes, but I can't say yes confidently. Um, I'm just going to load in middle of the day, I think, to start. Uh, you know what I'll do? Um, red dragonfly, crap, red dragonfly, new leaf. Let me see when the red dragonfly is available. I think this will be fine. 
8 a.m. to 7 p.m. in every game. Awesome. Uh, the other one is, what is it? The um, Violin Beetle. 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, in September, 4 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, cool. We're good. Perfect. Um, uh, <laughs> C-Sep says, oh, not the char, the most infamous fish on this channel. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to struggle to catch it on this one, too, I feel. Uh, Want to hear a crazy story today? Or, uh, yeah, today? Sure, go for it. Um, there was also, I saw somebody up in chat while I was, before I came back from my intermission here on the live stream. Um, I saw somebody in chat mention, I wonder if me, I, uh, am going to continue, uh, weekly episodes of the Animal Crossing Let's Plays after I, uh, complete all the Critterpedias, and the long answer, or the short answer is, I don't know. <laughs> the long answer is, probably to some extent, um... So there are three, there are three main goals, I would say, uh, in my pursuit for completion. It's, uh, completing the Critterpedia, the Critterpedia slash museum. That's the big one. Oh, Phineas is here. Why, well, good afternoon, youngster. Um, so that's number one. May I have a badge? Um, yeah, so completing the, the museums and the Critterpedias, that's number one, obviously. Uh, paying off all debt is another priority. So I still have a lot of work to do to track down all the artwork that, in every game, pretty much. That's the big one that stumps me. I don't think I've ever create I've ever, ever completed an art wing in, a, in an Animal Crossing game yet, uh, in any of them. So that's gonna be probably the last one remaining after everything is said and done. Um, let me see if there are any violin beetles on any of these stumps. Nope, doesn't look like it. Beyond that, um, in this game I want to complete my main street. So, I just need Katrina. I still need Katrina to move into my main street, and then that's complete. And then all the golden tools. Can I swap with something? Crap. Alright, never mind. I wish it didn't have to rebury it. It could have just not done that. Ah. Ah, you garbage. Let me get this red dragonfly over there. Just to get get it out of the way. Boom. Progress has already been made. I'm so shocked that I never caught that, though. Maybe I just... It was such a basic bug that I just, like, always assumed that I had already caught it. I don't know what the deal is. Why it took me so long to get that, but... Red Dragonfly. Conquered. Caught. We're good. <laughs> um... Wild Violet says, uh, you have to chop a tree and keep a log for the violin beetle to go on. I know. So that's, there's a story behind the violin beetle and why I have personal disdain for it in this game. I actually have caught a violin beetle already in this game. Uh, but then I save and quit and the emulator crashed. The emulator isn't capable of saving and quitting. I have to save and continue and then just close out. And that's why Rossetti stops me every time. Because technically I'm like resetting the game every time I stop playing it. Um... But yeah, so that. that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, deal. <laughs> Alright, so now I have some pocket space so I can dig up those fossils as we go. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I... I technically have caught a violin beetle already so i know about i know how to catch one it's just frustrating that i have to catch another one. Oh, oh there it is i forget is there creeping yes there is creeping in this game 
Got it. Violin beetle. Done and done. That's all the bugs? That's all that's left. I caught every type of bug. Dude, this live stream this week is incredible for Animal Crossing Let's Plays here on the channel. We are we are crushing it. I I keep and like it's so unexpected because I'm like not even realizing like oh my god that's actually the last bug on my to-do list or in my critterpedia and it's about to be the last bug going into my museum. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> All right, let me go cash in. Let me go cash in right here, right now. I'm stoked. Sentinel says you're on fire. I know, right? I feel like Bowser in uh, in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Rossetti. Rossetti's gonna stop me. <laughs> All right. So let me just go through here. Wild World, I don't... Wild World, we caught the King Salmon. And I believe we caught the Red Dragonfly too, right? I think. Pretty sure. Can't imagine we didn't. City Folk, we caught the... Caught the Petal Tail, and we are done with City Folk. New Leaf, we caught the Red Dragonfly, and we caught the Violin Beetle. Yeah, so now it's a bunch of fish and deep sea creatures. The char being one of them, though. <laughs> Sentinel says, peaches, 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 peaches. Insert image of peaches the horse. <laughs> Alright, let's let's bop this guy. Let's... Can we do the, both of them? Yeah, we can. Is Blathers gonna say something about completing the wing in this game, or no? I hate how Blathers doesn't- I mean, I know he's gonna send me a letter with my- with my golden, uh, bug catching net, but I'm still kind of bitter that he does- he just says nothing. Like, when it actually happens. Wild Violet says, uh, I have to be up early to meet my friend and it's 1am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for keeping you up so late. But at least it's like an action-packed, uh, live stream. So there's that, right? If it was like a dud of a live stream, that'd be one thing, but we're crushing it. There's another, another violin beetle. I, I can just scare him away now and not worry about it. Because we done gone did the thing. This very easily could be the most eventful week of Let's Plays here on the channel. Of Animal Crossing Let's Plays. Ever. Did I already fall in the pitfall seed? Ah, uh, it's a gyroid. Did I already fall in a pitfall seed today? I kind of, I think I did, but I don't remember. Just to clarify, there's no Katrina over here, is there? No. I know this is gonna be a. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, there's the pitfall seed. So yeah, no. The answer is no, I did not fall on a pitfall seed yet. How do I get the golden shovel in this game? Is it the same as City Folk? I want to say it's not based on the fact that I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe it's the same. It's like all the fossils. You donate all the fossils to the museum and you get the golden uh, shovel. That would make perfect logical sense. Oh, Sentinel says, I think the Golden Shovel is buying like 50 fertilizers. Really? That doesn't make any logical sense. That's stupid. <laughs> so I'm, I'm digging up all these fossils for nothing. I'm not even going to get anything golden out of it. Lame. Alright, so there should be, what, one more buried thing? One more buried thing of some variety. <laughs> I already have the golden slingshot in this game, so I don't have to worry about that. Any 
Any, uh, any chars in there? Uh, looks like the answer is no. Okay, am I crazy or did I just see... Does it look like there might be a fish in there? I'm just going crazy. I'm, I'm just seeing things that I want to see. There's no char in there. There's no char in that bunch. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Talk to the camp. Wait. Oh, Sentinel says talk to the camp, old man. Oh, you mean, uh... Oh, crap. I just ripped up some flowers for no reason. Gulliver. Gulliver, not Gulliver. Phineas. I want another badge. Thank you. I wouldn't have even thought about this. I rarely think about Phineas at all in this game. I like him better as the prize guy in City Folk. The Professor of Entomology badge. Everyone agrees I'm a bug specialist. Imagine if we finished the, uh, the fossil wing today, too. It's not gonna happen, but... Just imagine. Just imagine, if you will. I'm on a roll. If I get even one fossil... That belongs in the museum, there are two outstanding fossils from my museum. Ooh, snap. Um, if I get even one... New one, that'll be the most incredible, uh... That'll be the most incredible... Let's Play episode in recent memory, because I've been struggling to find anything that is necessary for so long now. I see people still talking about Petunia in live chat, too. <laughs> Petunia's hatred is intensifying by the minute. <laughs> Petunia's just back in OG Domoberg, just being really mad. Just being a grumpy Gus. A real, a real hater. <laughs> Oh, Wild Wilds is go up a- John, go up a bit. C-Step says, can you store gyroids in New Leaf? I don't think so. Wild Violet, why, uh, did you see something that I didn't see? Um. But c -Sip says, hey, since I'm trying to get New Leaf, and I know nothing about- I know nothing about it, uh, how do you get the silver tools and gold tools? Honestly, I don't even know. I know the slingshots, you shoot them down. Um. Oh, you're talking about in chat. Okay, scroll up in chat. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um. Steve says, I mean, I know about its features, but I don't know if you know what I mean. Uh, you could be told how good a game is, but it ain't the same as playing it. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I'm going to assess these fossils quick. I'm going to assess these fossils. Do them one at a time, just like every other time. We got three fossils. Hopefully, at least one of them makes its way into the museum and just makes my day. Here we go. Please, yo, neck. No good. That one's a dud. We're 0 for 1. It's not looking good so far. This is how it always goes. Uh, Sentinel says, yes, you can. However, they take up way too much space. I store mine in the museum exhibits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could store them upstairs. Like, you could put them on display in the museum, but you can't actually display all of them. So if you were to collect all the gyroids, that's something I want to do in City Focus, collect all the gyroids, because you can put them into the gyroid storage. I don't need that. Uh, in comparison to this game where you have to, you can't actually, they don't all fit. Like, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. We're currently 0 for 2 on fossils, so I don't think we're going to get lucky. But we'll, we'll hope. Nope. 0 for 3. It's all a dud. All three duds. Alright, so let me run upstairs and show you the exhibits upstairs. I think I- I feel like I should make a, like, a legitimate one. Um. What is this? Is this artwork?
Oh, it's the frame. Oh, okay. I thought it was a piece of artwork. I was like, oh my god. I want to say this is the an exhibit like of pictures of my now wife. They used to be in my house, and I think I moved them in here. Yeah. It's just pictures of her on the wall that I made into pro designs. Um, in this thing, this is a firework I set off. Uh, our first fireworks show together in Animal Crossing New Leaf because we used to go on virtual dates in Animal Crossing New Leaf when we were in high school because I was a nerd and yeah there's a picture of if you guys saw um, the heart-shaped uh, bushes that I have out there I think they're rose bushes I'm not totally sure but uh, the heart-shaped bush thing that I have in my in my town um, that was a picture of when I first planted them for her, and that was us together. It was a, It's a pretty cool picture, actually. Like, I'm pretty proud. I'm pretty stoked that I took that screenshot, too. Um, especially since we went on to get married and everything. Like, someday I'm going to be old and gray, and I'm going to be like, do you remember this ridiculous picture of me planting virtual bushes, rose bushes for you? And I hope she's like, yeah, it was great. And I'm not just like... <laughs> You know, she'll be like, no, I don't really remember that. You're a freaking nerd. Get over it. <laughs> uh, just kidding. She would never say that, I don't think. I mean, maybe she would, but it would be a joke, I hope. Um, oh, you know what? I have two gyroids in here, in this room. Um, see, such as, uh, same, I want to collect all of the gyroids, uh, but I don't know what ones I'm missing, and I'm too lazy to scroll down 180 items. I am in the exact same boat in City Folk. Yeah. Um, eventually I'll do it. Oh, there's the silver, there's the silver shovel. You get the silver shovel from up here, guys, <laughs> in case anybody was wondering. Um, but yeah, okay, so here's like a full kind of section of gyroids. Again, you, it, there, it's impossible to fit them all in and still be like, it still be a walkable space. It's like impossible. Um, Wild Violet said that is so cute about my ode to my wife over there. Um... Sentinel, uh, Sentinel says, now I feel extra single. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also an old man, though, so. I'm also an old man, but I'm also a young dude who got married young. Because I married my high school sweetheart. It was, there's no skill involved. It's pure luck. It was pure luck that I found the love of my life and, at such a young age. And it was pure, uh... I don't know. I don't want to say compromise, but, like, just willingness to make it work because there's a high school relationship and those tend to not work um i don't know i don't know how it happened i just stumbled upon the best person i've ever met in my life and uh was like nope i'm gonna marry you i know i'm whatever it was 17 and you're 15 or whatever it was but you're you're it bruh so get used to it and here we are 10 years later <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, no, nothing for the museum there. Uh, bummer. All right. So, uh, what was I gonna do now? Oh, fishing. I can. <laughs> Duh. When in doubt, look for a char. You always need a char in your life. I'm actually going to go sell all this crap at retail first so I have some pocket space before I go on my char hunt. Um, Wild Violet says, I think it's too late to scroll up now. It's fine. If it's just, I don't know. <laughs> just post it again. Just copy and paste it in the chat and I'll, I'll revisit it. It's easier than scrolling up. <laughs> the chat going too fast for me to keep up with has never been a problem before right now apparently oh you know what i'm not selling these gyroids my bad i do want to have the full collection at some point and selling them probably doesn't bode well for that objective um csip says uh char new horizons vietnam flashbacks yeah no i agree yeah i don't i i, I hate the char with a burning passion 
<laughs> Wild Bob says, uh, I enjoy the streams, by the way. I am meeting my friend's new rabbit tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And <laughs> there you go, old man. Thank you. Thank you, young whippersnapper. <laughs> Horf. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm becoming Mayor Tortimer. If I, if I have half the swagger of Mayor Tortimer when I become old and gray, I'll be a happy camper. I will have lived a perfect life. Be a char, please. Ah. I was like, put me out of my misery. Be a char. How great would that have been if that was a char? Oh. Would have been a beautiful thing. I don't even know if chars are available at this current hour. Just catching black bass left and right. Um, I see the... Okay, so you said story. I see Cezup up there saying, thanks for the silver shovel tip. I think that's where you get all of the silver items. I think uh, I think about it, but you have to get half of the Critterpedia for them to show up. Yeah, there's something that... Requ well, there's something... No, you know what it is? I don't think it's half the Critterpedia. I think what it is is that top floor doesn't open up until... Well, maybe you get half the Critterpedia. The top floor of the museum doesn't open up until something happens. I don't know what it is, but something happens and that top floor opens up. And I think once that top floor is open, that's when all of those things become available for sale up there. Oh, Wild Violet says, the story is way up, John, about GameStop. Oh, I missed, I missed the game. I did see some kind of comments in the GameStop, but I think it might have been during intermission, or I kind of totally missed it. I don't really know. Um, but what I was commenting on <clears throat> was, uh, I do plan on continuing Animal Crossing, my Let's Plays, even after my critter Peters are done, my Critterpedias are done. There's a lot of work I need to, I, I still need to, you know, get done before I consider them to be completed. Um, but with that said, then after that, I might revert just to, uh, the older games that I've already beaten for the time being, just cause I don't, I don't want to be like, yes, I beat the game at long last. Let's start again from zero. Cause like that doesn't sound fun to me. At least like maybe down the road, I'll create a new character in those respective towns. I'm never going to undo the town. I'll like create a new village. I don't think, or a new Island. Cause that's just not what I'm, I'm just not into that idea. Um, but I might create a new character and start pursuing things like the, you know, completing the Critterpedia again and things like that. Um, but beyond that, I'm still going to do, I might start doing like full, like similar to this live stream where I'm playing all five games, doing that, but for like special events and holidays, fishing tourneys, that kind of thing, um, to keep the games very much alive and kicking on the channel, even when I'm not doing weekly Let's Play episodes of them. But again, I, I feel like we're making a lot of progress here today and this week on the Let's Play series, all of the Let's Play series. Um, but I don't think it's indicative that we're really super duper close to like the end of any of the Let's Play series. We're definitely making, a, you know, big progress and hitting big milestones, but I don't think we're... I think we got plenty of episodes, plenty of weeks here to go. I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm going to finish any of these Let's Play series by the end of this year. Uh, at least. But, you know, who knows? We'll see. CSEP says, uh, So in my city, in real life, I have two GameStops. Uh, the only ones around. One is a retro store. The other is a modern one. I want to go get New Leaf, and the retro store was closed. To, uh, so I went to the modern one. Okay, okay. I mean, eBay, Mercari, they're also your friends. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, to a lesser extent. I can't vouch for it. I've never used... Facebook Marketplace, it kind of scares me, quite frankly. The fact, the the idea of having to interact with somebody who is in my community for a business transaction is weird to me. I don't like that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just me being antisocial. I don't know, but... I guess you can have things, some things shipped to you, but I feel like that defeats the purpose of Facebook Marketplace if it's not actually like a local transaction. But, I don't know. What do I know? 
Anyway, I think that's where we'll call it. Uh, because we're about 30 minutes on the nose here in this episode. So, uh, yeah. Yeah.